Hi, I'm Stuart Brown from Stuart Brown Photographic. Today in this short video I'd like to show you the large format camera that I use for much of my work, give you an overview of how it is operated and explain to you the benefits of using this equipment. A quick look inside the camera bag. The camera itself, a Linux Technicard and S45, fairly unique camera and that is fully folding with a telescopic monorail. This gives it many of the advantages of a drop bed camera that is often favoured by landscape photographers which fold into a compact box for easy transportation whilst maintaining a full range of optical movements found on monorail cameras that are often favoured by architectural and studio photographers. A set of double-sided film holders a 90mm wide-angle lens 150mm standard lens 210mm medium focal length lens and a 300mm long focal length lens. Shutter release cable. A focusing loop through which you check the entire image is sharply focused. A focusing cloth to keep straight light off the focusing screen. A set of wide angle bellows for use with a wide angle lens. These are like shift movements with minimal bellows extension. So the filters control the light reaching the film and finally an exposure meter with which to measure the light. The basic procedure is to place the camera on the tripod, unlock all six red levers and rotate both the front and rear standards so that they are perpendicular to the monorail. The rear lateral shift is then zeroed and locked. The front stand is locked completely. And the monorail extended to approximately the focal length of the lens, which is then attached to the front standard. followed by the shutter release cable. The camera is pointed at the subject and the focusing cloth placed over the focusing screen. The focusing loop is then taken inside the focusing cloth and focus adjusted using the knob on the side of the monorail. Vertical shifts and tilts can be applied by unlocking the green levers. Moving the lens to the desired position. And relocking the green levers. Once focused, the last two red levers in the rear standard are locked. The film holder attached to the rear standard. The shutter is closed and cocked ready to take the photograph. Aperture and shutter speed adjusted. Blind slide is then removed. Shutter release and the blind slide reinserted. Job done. Here we have a shot of the church roofs at Trinitatis Platz in Dresden, showing an extraordinary amount of detail in the damaged masonry. All verticals are perfectly plumb, but we've managed to keep the power cables from the tram which runs in front of the ruins out of the composition. Next up, I show the Golden Writer statue in Dresden on a rainy January afternoon with the blockhouse in Neustadt and Markt in the background. The camera is perfectly vertical so that the blockhouse does not appear to taper. The lens has been shifted vertically to position the golden statue near the bottom of the image and to include the tops of the large trees lining the street. The camera captures a very high quality image that can be printed very large. This one is 40 by 50 inch canvas.